Hello. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for Scorpio, who is ruled by both Mars and Pluto. I would more say she rules Mars and is ruled by Pluto, or he. So, you must take control of your anger and your rage and the upper hand of your nurturing and fertility of Mars and your motion and be careful with your actions and focus more on rebirth. This life is a constant state of growth and death and rebirth in your life, the life that you live. We're constantly metamorphosing into something else. So do the cards have any things they would like to discuss and bring enlightenment and light upon the dear Scorpios that will come to see any of my readings. So that one want to come out. I'm not going to turn it over yet, they say. This one keeps, this one's been popped out for a bit. And I'm going to do one shuffle. I want two more cards as clarifiers for the first two cards. Oh, there we go. And they're saying there's supposed to be three cards and then two clarifiers. So there we go. And then upside down. So the clarifiers, hmm, I'm talking about Ambition and action oriented is what we need to do, what we need to focus on. Um, and the challenge, competition, protection, perseverance, defense, maintaining control in our, so taking control over our, our ambitions. Um, like I said, these are the clarifiers. So what is coming, what energies are we need to be aware of that we need to make sure we maintain and monitor our motion and actions. Betrayal. Yeah, that's something that we, we're not very happy about. We got a stinger and we will use it. A new project. So that's something to focus on instead. Inspiration, an urge to create. And we need to focus on our, our diligence, passion, high standards, apprenticeship. It's both right here. These are the upper cards. So we might face some betrayal, but if we focus on our ambitions and we're diligent and passionate about it, we are able we're gonna be able to overcome the challenges. All right, I wanna see what um I was gonna draw from the shaman deck to see what energies and message uh we're going to be getting, but I actually, instead of drawing from the Shaman deck, I'm going to use another Colette Baron Reed deck, and th these were from the Star Code. I'm not going to read about them, but on my Instagram, I do have their meanings. I didn't plan on taking this deck out. Aha. See, got the ropes on that. Have the rope on our actions. We're gonna reel them in and make sure they're purposeful. And Driven for success, fast thinking, defending beliefs. Yeah, we need to 
be aware of that underline, the challenges, and focus on our high standards and skill development. Focus on our creation and, and desire that way to overcome these obstacles, especially a betrayal. We don't, we don't like that. So this is the animal oracle. Koala spirit was on the break. Actually, I'm going to pull that card I was told. The koala spirit is going to be our higher meditation. Spirit has a plan. Don't worry about that betrayal. And I will see if another spirit wants to accompany the koala spirit. Does another spirit wish to accompany the koala spirit? Or perhaps our new projects we're, we're doing. I need to break this deck in a bit. So shuffling is a is a good way to loosen the cards up like that. So then they're able to move around a bit more fluidly. Um, I would split it in half even and shuffle vigorously. Like I'm gonna teach you how to shuffle right here. A lot of people don't know how to shuffle. So you know I have this. I cross my fingers. I bring this up. I make sure the fingers are staying, my thumbs are staying the entire time as I slowly let go of the bottom, but my thumbs stay the entire time. So I'm going to do that again on camera. I've taught a lot of people how to shuffle cards. So thumbs cross, slowly let go, and on the bottom you just drop it on the bottom and then keep the thumbs crossed. Okay, and I'm being told no, no more, just the koala spirit to be humble and navigate this betrayal that we're going to be, that we might be faced with. Um, might be romantic, might be work-related, but we have new projects and new endeavors to focus on regardless of what it is. Spirit has a plan. In nature, the koala moves slowly through the branches of the east, uh, eucalyptus tree leisurely chewing the leaves so you know if someone betrays you just take a step back and monitor the entire situation and try to stay, think outside of the box that spirit has a plan reminding us that life is not a race or competition chasing around after every distraction can keep us from recognizing that we have all we need and that spirit will always be there with gifts to sustain us. You are being asked to trust that by moving slowly with faith in the abundance that is everywhere, surrendering to the power greater than yourself, you will be able to experience the manifestation of your desire as you take your time enjoying the riches available to you right now, sitting peacefully, you begin to radiate the joy and abundance you seek. And that is indeed the new projects and new opportunities and growth you are going through right now. That Ace of Wands there. 